When migrants cross the southern border into Arizona, they're often being guided by a criminal smuggling group known as the cartels or the mafia. As we uh, show you here, uh, the Sasabe area right along the U.S.-Mexico border. Uh, Kega 9's Ryan Fish went to the border near Sasabe this week, an area where those groups are active and in some cases violent. Migrants crossing here near Sasabe tell us they're fleeing discrimination or threats of violence in their home countries. But they also describe their journey here to the U.S. as ugly. Very, very difficult. Thinking that we will die. Saidu So is from the African country of Mauritania. He says it took him more than three weeks to get to Arizona. He asked us not to show his face. There are many mafia. You see, we are taken by the mafia. During the journey, what did they say to you? The mafia, they tell us we have just to take the road to make two hours. We go two hours, we don't see nothing. Three hours, four hours, one day, no food. Two days, no food. Three days, they tell us two hours. It took you four days? Yes. Instead? Yeah. Gail Kusarek frequents this part of the border to give migrants food and water. The cartel's not really interested in people if they don't have money, and I think they kind of turn their backs on some of those folks and let them find their own way because we're finding them in odd places now along the wall where we haven't seen people before. I want a job. I want to, to, to have my family. Saidu claims he tried and failed to get a visa more than three times. In his mind, this trek became his only option. Even if you know the, the risk and everything, but you have no choice. You have to leave. For months, rival cartel factions have been fighting over territory just south of the border. Last fall, that violence emptied out the border town of Sasabe, Sonora. Though we're told by aid volunteers, residents are slowly returning. At the border near Sasabe, Ryan Fish, Kega 9.